Levis will throw on first down. Rolls the pocket. Has a receiver open. Hits him at midfield. Stays in bounds. That's the dynamic Wandale Robinson. The transfer from Nebraska. And he could set all kinds of Kentucky receiving records by before the end of the night. That's 27 yards on first down. Third down and a long three for Kentucky on their first drive of the game. Levis. Design draw. Inside the 20. To the 10. He'll score. Takes the opening kickoff and scores. Levis with the touchdown. Wildcats up. Unbelievable. Thanks, Kevin. Sam, appreciate it. More on that game and all the others here throughout the night. Cunningham looking to throw and hits his target. That's going to be a first down on the first offensive play of the game for the Cardinals. They have a phenomenal force. Yassir Abdullah, who is the second leading sacker in the ACC. Cunningham opts to throw. Just couldn't, and wait a minute, maybe he did make the catch. One of the officials is saying he did, and it is a beautiful grab. Kentucky has that opportunity, third and one from the two yard line. Cunningham's gonna keep it leap over the goal line, did he get in? Yes! The officials say he did, touchdown global. Stuff, it's, if you can't tell, you can't tell on the call on the field stands, that's gonna stand. As a touchdown, last few games, they've been dominant at the line of scrimmage. If they can get 24 going, that'll prove they're doing it tonight. Levis has a receiver open in the Cardinal territory. That's going to be Josh Ali. Ball's on the ground, but the officials are going to mark him down. Levis, design draw. It's a block from Rodriguez and walks in. From their quarterback, Will Levis, Cats up seven. Starting at noon Eastern, right after Sunday NFL countdown on ESPN. Levis rolls. Downfield has a receiver. That's a nice catch. Did he stay in bounds? He made the catch. Wandale Robinson on a beautiful tiptoe on the sideline. Chance poor, the punter with the hold. And Ruffalo kicks it through. Levis is looking that way, but the pressure comes and he escapes it somehow. Picks up the first down and powers his way to midfield. He had Wandell open, but you're right, the pressure got there and forced him to run. Now the pitch to slow. Oh, he's going to throw it. Throwing it backwards to Levis. He can throw it again, and he does. Great catch at the 40 yard line, and that's the record breaker. Wandell now has the all time single season receptions record to himself. Levis. Yep. Now he'll run it. Yep. And he'll score again. That's touchdown number three on the ground for Will Levis. Ubo has been good against the run most of the year. But you see the stalemates that are created up front by this big offensive line. There are zero, I repeat, zero defensive linemen or any defensive players on Louisville's team over 300 pounds. This offensive line for Kentucky goes. This is an important drive for Louisville. You know, they are so used to starting fast and just have not today. Great throw. Finally had some time. He's banged up a little bit. He yeah. may have hit his hand on a helmet mark Ooh. on that throw. Now it's Evan Conley on this drive near midfield. He'll run and he has a blocker in front of him. And good yardage. Bangs off a couple of defenders down to the 30-yard line. Now that gets the crowd into it here late in the first half. All you need to do is count me out, and he rises to play in those situations. Got to get it here on third down, oh. and he won't. Dropped in the backfield. Josh Pascal. Rodriguez. Powers oh. his way to the second level. Now he brings My. on the speed. <laughs> Inside the 20. Finally pushed out of bounds around the 15. And you know, surprisingly, that's that's one of Chris Rodriguez's longest Ooh. runs, and he did it just absolutely destroying the defender. And this is a guy he came into this game averaging second best in the SEC, 6.04 yards per carry, and his longest run of the year was only. You called it, Mark. Will he get the push? He does. 
That's number four on the day for Will Levis. And he lets everybody know about it. Four rushing touchdowns, and he's done it powerfully. We talked about he's not going to try to make you miss. He's going to run right over you. Throwing the hells down at the cheerleaders right behind the, the end zone. Uh, he's at a day. He deserves it. Cunningham has all day. Now he's on target. That's one of his better passes we've seen in a while. And of course, it's number 83, Marshawn Ford, on the receiving end in midfield. Magical things. And he hasn't done it so far today, but you've seen glimpses at times. And that's not too magical. Got a little greedy on that play. And J.J. Weaver was the man to pick it off. That's you think probably, that helped? I'm sure it did. Not exactly sure what an extra digit will do on the hand, but that was a pretty good catch. Really, really good player. Probably less to do with the digit and more to do with his work ethic and overall athleticism and determination. Rodriguez. <laughs> Once again, Mark, the story is the same. I mean, kudos to the O-line as well. They have been destroying Louisville's defensive front. Give the smoke. Huge hole. 20. Run out of bounds back in the red zone of the Wildcats. First and goal from the two. Rodriguez. He'll score easily. Just right at the middle. But it seems like it's an opera like there are opportunities for teams. And whether teams make the most of them, like Levis has done today with his oh legs. Look at that move. Gosh. And oh he leapfrogs the defender. Okie dokie. Down to the 14. <laughs> and that oh, lights man. up the Kentucky bench. Think about that that pairing of Liam Cohen and Will Levis. And then Wondell Robinson can come back as well. Smoke's going to score. Yeah. <laughs> Kavasi is smoke can come back. Chris Rodriguez can come back. I mean, when you look in terms of offensive weapons, this Kentucky team, you know, they're just going to be reloaded again next year. Levis. Smoke finishes it off. Oh, wow. Tied for most in a single game in school history, and you saw the other records that have been broken tonight, and it, it is those three guys. You know, they've been phenomenal in this game. They've been phenomenal all season. I have to be able to beat a team at least once while I'm here at the school, and you know, who knows what his future holds, but this might be his last chance. Mitchell on a big run here is going to get it inside the 20 and a lot more. Still on his feet down to the 10 yard line. Marched down the field on a long drive and scored. Louisville answered. It was 7 7 early in this game. It has been all Wildcats since until now. Louisville finally breaks through. And it's Josh Johnson on the receiving end from Evan Conley who had to come in to spell Malik. Already a second place finish in their division in the SEC. Bo Allen showing off his legs, saying, hey, Will, anything you can do. That's one thing about this, this Kentucky football team. You see him on the sideline. They, you know, there's very few guys sitting over on the bench not paying attention. They're all pulling for their guys. That's How about right. that? That's Lavelle Wright. He's going to score. <laughs> and that's why that's why you get excited you get excited for your the guys who have been putting in the work all year they get their opportunity and they have success just like that and you see some of those guys up front they're going to be in the starting lineup next year and the explosive nature of another running back in waiting for Kentucky a season high 364 yards on the ground tonight. Conley over the middle has a receiver inside the 10 down to the six. And I'll tell you what, this started as a very red stadium, and now the only red is the seats as Berkeley goes in for six with eight seconds left in this game. That his grandfather had a mantra that he follows never give up and there were times where he felt like leaving Penn State were giving up but a lot of talk with his family and his father and he has made the right decision and Kentucky is definitely home for that man right there.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.